Welcome back. In 2013, AFL legend Neil Danaher was diagnosed with motor neuron disease. Since then, he's become the public face of MND. And he and his family have worked tirelessly to raise awareness and to try and find a cure. His daughter, Beck has been there side by side every step of the way. Great to catch up with you again, Beck. Thanks so much for having me on again. And you brought in with you Professor Paul Toolman, who started the Australian MND registry following over 2,500 MND patients uh, Oh, neighbour of mine, Paul, he once let me in when I locked myself out of my house. Uh, thanks for doing that. Um, you're welcome. Good to catch up with you. And it's a great achievement to uh, be putting that amount of work into this cause. Yep, absolutely. Now, I want to start with you, Beth. I've got to ask, your dad's one of the most inspirational people I've ever met. We all love him. How is he? He's going well. I, like, I do find this question really hard to answer because mm. MND is um, a beast and every day is a little bit harder. But you see what dad's like. He's so super positive and he keeps us working really hard at Fight MND. <laughs> so he's going well. Yes, so now, Beck, the last time we saw you, we were heading into the big freeze at the MCG. Another amazing event this year. Absolutely loved it. And Neil was named 2019 Victorian of the Year for his campaign work. So it's just been an incredible year for you guys. It has been so exciting. Um, another thing that Dad is doing, he's announcing a book on the 24th of October. Oh, so not only has oh. he been doing all those other things in the background, he's got this book and he's excited to share his sto story with everyone. Wow. Um, but, yeah, he's a busy man. Mm. One of the most remarkable stories we've said. But the big news, Beck, on top of that, there's 15 new research projects and drug trials that have come as a result of $9 million raised largely through the big freeze at the G. Staggering amount of money. Mm. And it's brilliant that you get it straight out there, repurposing it straight away. Yeah, it's the most important thing that we can do is communicate with everyone that supported us, bought a beanie, donated over the year. And we want to make sure that they know straight away that we're putting that money to where it needs to go. And it's really making an impact. And you can see these clinical trials are moving through phase one, through phase two, and we have been able to fund a phase three trial this year. So mm -hmm. it's exciting times, but we just want to say a big thank you to everyone out there who's been able to support us to allow us to do this. Mm. Well, we thank Fight MND. It's amazing what you're doing. It does bring us now to you, Paul. Tell us about the drug trials. What, how do they actually work? I know that you're using existing medications that are used for other conditions. Yeah, so these trials um, are phase one, two and three. Phase three is just before you actually release it because it's had a beneficial effect and you've demonstrated that. So currently the phase three trial that's going ahead is on Triumic, which is a drug used in HIV. And that attacks a retrovirus that we all have in our bodies and actually inhibits it. And it's, it's made it through phase one and two trials and is now going into phase three. Wow. So that's a really exciting uh, drug. There is a, a, a drug that's being used for heart disease that's um, a repurposed drug now for MND going into phase one trial to see whether patients can tolerate it or not. Um, and there's just concluded another trial which went to phase three, um, which was a drug used in MS, tri uh, Tecfidera, mm -hmm. which is a, a, a drug well known in the MS community. And that trial is just finished and is locked and they'll be doing data analysis in October. Well, so does that mean that we're going to see new drugs released uh, on the market for people who aren't involved in the trials? Once they get through phase tr three, they have to demonstrate uh, an outcome, mm -hmm. a positive outcome, either in it slows the disease down or it prolongs survival. So they're the two key parameters that are used in all drug trials, mm -hmm. these type of trials, to see whether they're effective. If that's the case, if it's statistically significant, then it would be consider considered to get it into the marketplace. It's extraordinary because what you're doing is creating hope that perhaps was not there previously. Would yep. you say that, Paul? There's no doubt. There's one, this is a devastating disease. Mm. I mean, fight m and have... It, it's a paradigm shift. Uh, it's a game changer, what they've done to be able to pour this amount of money into MND. Mm. They poured more money into MND research in the first year of operation than had occurred in the previous 25 years. Wow. So, so there's obviously been a lot of research into this already, and but one of the challenges was effectively that people didn't live long enough, did they, to do what your dad's done, and that is raise as much awareness and as much uh, money, and now we're seeing great hope in uh, the work Paul and his team are doing. It must give you great, uh, great strength. Yeah, it definitely does. Um, when Dad was diagnosed, he was given, you know, 27 months to live, which is a really hard thing for us to, to go through as a family. And he was told that he wouldn't be able to walk. Um, it would affect his speech, so he wouldn't be able to talk um, and be a 
face of the organisation for as long as he has been able to. Mm. So we're very lucky that he's been with us a lot longer than he was given. And as a consequence of that, um, you can see him powering it at the big freeze at the Danaher's Drive and leading the charge. And it's really important to us to keep him with us as long as we can and to know that what he's done is really making an impact. He's creating an, a legacy for years to come. Yeah. So, Beck, uh, can you tell me a little bit more about one of your other money raises, which is the Danaher Drive? What is it exactly and how can people get involved? Danaher's Drive is definitely one of my favourite campaigns that we do. So it's all about getting out into the regional community. We know MND is not a city-based disease. It, it does affect everyone. And we also know that the regional communities have rallied behind us since day dot. Mm. So it's 320 participants and they fundraise in the lead up and then we go out to the different regional towns and say thank you for everything you've done, raise a bit more awareness and a bit more funds for Fight MND. And the best way that people can support us is we've got an amazing car raffle so if they go to fightmnd.org.au they can buy a ticket and go in the draw to win a Mercedes dual cab ute. Hello. So, um, yes. <laughs> I know we've got a lot of treaties that support us so um, I think it'd be quite appealing. Yeah. Oh, and as we said every dollar counts so if any generous donations that people can provide we will put it hard at work. We'll get Paul back in there and get him busy working away. I, I should just say it's not just me. What Fight MND have done is the number of researchers focused on research on MND in Australia has quadrupled. Mm. So it's it's changed. A whole lot of laboratories are now focusing on this disease and establishing international collaborations, which are really significant. Yeah, it's great to hear, wow. Paul, and great to hear from you, Beck. The Danaher Drive, as Beck said, 10th to the 13th of October. It's always a lot of fun when you're around the Danaher family. It's a great event to get involved in and donate. We'll give you all the details on our website, House of Wellness. Beck, wish you and Neil especially all the very best. And Paul, thank you.